oil suffers from multitude of leaks now. That over here is fuel. Got dripped out of it. We've been sitting here for like 9, 10, 11 hours. But this under here is oil. That's oil that dripped off the fuel tank. That's oil coming off the train. It's so bad that it blew out all the way out to here and caked my steps. on the road, shall we? Old pros charge. Uh, day like today. Blood pressure still. Ah, uh, you may get home or fine. Trying to drink more water. Getting hot out. Better for you. It's getting hot out too. I sweat a lot. Now let me get out of here while I can. Get your hood on, leg zap on. Here to the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these brake knobs. Get ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You say it helps out. The algorithm's been showing it need to help, so. Hook a brother up. Well, if that's acting like a sight glass, it's not very accurate. I already sticked the tanks. They're out of half a tank. That's showing a third. It's supposed to be fuel pressure, not a sight glass.
the meantime, uh, you're traveling I-40 in Arkansas, you've got to take exit 5 to I-55 to cross the Mississippi River into Memphis. You're traveling westbound on the Tennessee side of I-40, you've got to take the I-55 bridge across the river to get into Arkansas, and maybe take exit 4 to access I-40 westbound. Many people have been bringing up the fact that the, the I-55 bridge is so much older. And they're kind of concerned about the safety of that bridge with all this excessive traffic continuing there. Addressing those concerns, Tennessee DOT is sending out two inspection teams with drones to work on the I-55 Mississippi River Bridge. Uh, they're using an overabundance of caution in reviewing new footage and some of the previous inspection reports so they can verify the safety of the older bridge. And, and the same individual who on not once but two occasions was supposed to be inspecting the I-40 bridge that failed to notice the crack. Uh, that individual at some point in time had also inspected the I-55 bridge so they're kind of going back over everything that uh, that particular inspector had covered. Uh, coming up in our next weather update, we'll take a look at our...
move it that way. Ain't no way to get it up on your trail. So you don't have magical wizard power? Not today. Lamar. What will you say? Hey, 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 where we have to go? Well, you said it, but we lost. Oh. I'll have to make the power to you. Makes it nice when you do have it though, do <laughs> To the foot. There's no pin on this other than this little hole here for the exhaust. It's solid. I can't run a chain. However, I can sneak my hand up in here and wrap around the big piece of iron. Just have to this side I have to snake around the exhaust system so I don't push the exhaust between this piece of iron and the exhaust. So you gotta wrap it up high.
that one. Now I asked if they had a propane cylinder to start it. He said he didn't. I would have rather if we laid the boom out because the process of tying it down. Gently shaking the chain through the beef of the boom, but not around the cylinder. If we pull forward, it'll try to hydraulically bleed to have the fourth blade full. Which obviously we don't want to have. by not pulling out so much, a little bit more down than I usually do. Because since I have all the extra room. We're not trying to squeeze anything else on the trailer. But you do have to bear that in mind if you still want to hydraulically bleed the forward. So you have to check it. She's hurting right now. You don't feel on that them much anymore, do you? Oh no. No. That newfangled stuff's not worth the cost. Or the time. Thirty-four, what was it? Thirty-four oh six. B. B. It was the original. Later on, he started calling it A. Then B. Then C. No one liked the C. I, I guess they skipped a D. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. Then it went with the E, and that was, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best engines they ever made on the planet. Yeah. It was just. It was. It wasn't terribly hard on fuel. It was electronic enough to be good, and bring its uptime up and it didn't have all the emissions trouble. But you had to have a computer to work with it to a point, like set your injectors, you need a computer other than that, same as this, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Then they went to the C15 slash C16s. After that, they were junk. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice truck, man. You got her looking good. Eh, I just keep her running. Oh yeah. Thank you though. Popeye's late in that uh, thing of orange juice. It's all I had all day. Now I'm sweating, so that throws me off too. I know I'm hydrated, good. I sweat a lot, so that's good for me. I need to take better care of myself. Doctor says I'm great. Cholesterol is a touch high, but not bad. Uh, cardio, no. I have like no cardio. So, other than that, I should feel better. I wish I did. We'll have to, we'll have to work on that one of these days. Would you guys bust on my chops? <laughs> Trust me, that won't do crap. Yeah. 